In this experiment, we are going to test four different white powders with three different liquids. And what we are looking for is if it's a physical change or a chemical change. Now, if it's a chemical change, we are gonna see two different clues that will indicate that, okay? We might see a color change, and we're talking about an unexpected color change. In other words, getting a color that we haven't seen before or that we don't expect to see. Or we may get fizzing or bubbling. In other words, a gas might be given off. Now, we might see none of these, and if that's the case, it would be a physical change. Or we might see one, or we might see the other, or we might see both, okay? If any of these clues show up, we know that it's a chemical change. Okay, so let's get started. So I have already put my powders into their compartments and the top row is baking soda, common baking soda. The next row is baking powder, then cornstarch, and then sugar. All right, let's get started with the top row. Let's do baking soda first. The first column up and down, we are gonna test with water. This column is gonna be vinegar. This column is gonna be iodine. Okay, here we go. Let's start with baking soda and water. So I'm gonna take my water right here. I'm gonna put in five drops into the baking soda and let's see what happens. Okay, I don't see any bubbling. I don't see a color change. It just mixed in, okay? So that would be a physical change. Definitely not a chemical change. All right, let's try vinegar. So I have some vinegar right here. I'm gonna put five drops in the baking soda column or row. And here we go, one. Oh, we get crazy fizzing and bubbling, definitely. You can hear it too. That is one of the clues of a chemical change. So that is definitely a chemical change. So baking soda and vinegar, in fact, is a famous chemical reaction. So that is definitely a chemical change. Now let's try iodine. Here's our brown iodine. And let's put that in baking soda, five drops. Oh, I don't see anything happening. Now, is there a color change? That's the question. I mean, the iodine is already kind of brown. It turned like a yellow. That is actually not a color change. So when you put brown with something that's white, it tends to make it yellow. So that is not a color change. Also, there was no fizzing or bubbling, okay? So that is a physical change. All right, let's go to the next row. Now we are, we are using baking powder. This row is baking powder. So let's try water. So I'm gonna put five drops of water in the left column. Uh, we're definitely getting some fizzing and bubbling when we put water in the baking soda. And you can hear it. So that is a clue that a chemical change has occurred. We're getting a gas given off. Okay, let's try vinegar in baking so or baking powder. So vinegar in baking powder. Oh, same thing. Even more so, we're getting a lot of fizzing and bubbling. That definitely means it's a chemical change. Okay, let's try iodine in baking powder. Wow, something interesting happens. Two interesting things are happening here. It's turning purplish black and there is fizzing and bubbling. So it had both clues that a chemical change occurred. So that is definitely a chemical change. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's go to our cornstarch row and let's start with water. Okay, five drops. Okay, looks like it just mixes in. Nothing really special happens. And there's none of the clues, no fizzing, no color change. So that is definitely a physical change. Let's try vinegar in the cornstarch. One, 
two, three, four, five. Um, and just like with the water, it looks like it's just mixing in. I don't see any fizzing or bubbling or a color change. Let's try iodine with cornstarch. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, we're definitely seeing something happen. There's no fizzing or bubbling, but we are seeing it turn blackish purple. So that is definitely a color change. That means that that is a chemical change for sure. Okay, let's go to the last row. Now let's test sugar. Let's start with water. Okay, five drops. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, I don't see anything happening. So no fizzing or bubbling and no color change. So that's a physical change. And then now let's do the vinegar with sugar. And I don't see anything happening here. No fizzing or bubbling, no color change. So that is a physical change. And now the last one, let's test iodine with sugar. Uh, I don't see anything happening there. So no color change because the iodine was already brown. So, and no fizzing or bubbling. So that is also a physical change. Okay, now, one thing I wanna point out, we are basically done with the lab, but I wanna point out why iodine turns black in the cornstarch. So I, there's a famous reaction um, and that iodine turns black in the presence of starches, okay? Now, starches are sugars that are linked together. So notice the iodine did not react with the sugar, but it does react with the cornstarch. You might wonder why iodine reacted with the baking powder. Well, the reason is, is that the first ingredient in the baking powder that I bought had cornstarch in it. And I would imagine most baking powders have cornstarch. So that's why the iodine turned black. Now, let me prove to you that bread has starches in it. Here is a piece of bread and I'm gonna take some iodine. I'm gonna put a few drops of iodine on the bread and let's see what happens. So here we go. One, oh yeah, definitely. Look at that it instantly turns black. So that means that there are starches in bread and iodine reacts and turns black in the presence of starch. All right, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this experiment. Have a good day.